What is up guys, it's Tyra once again and I'm coming at you guys with another content of Cooking Iron Kingdom. Today I'm going to be talking about a counter that you can use in order to defeat uh, the Ginger Brave Tiger Lily Almond comp or any really Ginger Brave uh, Tiger Lily comp that are out there in the arena right now. This deck can counter it and I'm going to show you guys how to do it. If you guys find this video helpful, please hit that subscribe button and the like button and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys don't miss out on any future Cookie Run Kingdom videos that I upload on YouTube. Anyways guys, with all that out of the way, let's get right into the video. Here we go guys, this is the team that I have uh, created here that you can actually counter. Uh, counter the tiger lily ginger brave comp and here is the biggest thing here guys right here licorice okay licorice is going to be the key uh cookie that comes into play when it comes to dealing with the tiger lily uh almond and uh ginger brave comp or any ginger brave tiger lily comp that are you know kind of roaming around in the arena right now uh, obviously a lot of the the top players are not using the tiger lily uh, ginger brave or even the cheese comp really the one shot comp but still some lower lower ranks more like diamonds uh crystals and so on um there are people still using the one shot build and also using the um the tiger lily ginger brave comp out there so i wanted to share this deck uh or this team composition with you guys so here we go the topping for licorice is going to be full swift chocolate uh you want to start out with the uh, three seconds start uh, for licorice. So if you guys uh, didn't know licorice has um, One of the lowest cooldown in the game uh, really uh, except for ginger brave, right? Licorice's um, skill is a 14 second cooldown. So if you guys didn't know the setting the cooldown that you want to have is at least 16.7 percent cool uh, percent with the maxed out jelly watch. Okay, so this is at level 12 jelly watch standard you want to have at least 16.7 percent so about 11.7 percent excluding the five percent um th the set effect uh to have a three second cooldown licorice and that is going to prevent the tiger lily uh from jumping and pouncing at your team and get pushed back by the servants okay so but by the minions so that's the key and you want to have some uh, damage resist as well so that licorice does some tanking uh, as you guys can see this team does not have a uh, necessary tank except for sorbet so that's why sorbet is using uh, this uh, topping right here for me a very standard one um you can go with five searing raspberry or three searing raspberry two swift chocolate or two solid almond I just want to focus on the damage resist and i have 12.9 uh, percent cooldown on sorbet and uh if you keep going parfait is going to have uh just straight up damage resist uh as the main topping and the substats and pure vanilla is also going to be focusing on the damage resist and the uh for the substat with solid almond as a full set and lastly is going to be sea fairy uh, my sea fairy has uh 8.3 uh cooldown and 22.5 percent damage resist and the force uh searing raspberries one swift chocolate making it at uh 49.8 percent uh damage so th i do use this team with the uh ginger brave uh, tiger lily almond comp too so uh, i do try to have a very high uh damage for seafair if you do have great topping you can go with five searing raspberry when you, if you could have a good um start with your seafair here so that's going to be the um the start guys so i'm gonna now go and show you guys a uh, battle play or arena play that i will be testing this on and i will see you guys in battle all right guys so here we go this is going to be a the ginger brave tiger lily uh, comp so as you see right here licorice is able to push back uh the tiger lily and prevent some of the uh damage that was supposed to be done and the stun from happening allowing my sea fairy and um you know pure vanilla and everybody else to use their skill before almond is able to cast every single one of the skills uh to combo with the other uh other cookies out there so usually uh sea fairy and black raisin if i did not have licorice in this team should have been able to one shot uh this team right here but allowing my uh, licorice to summon those servants, right? 
prevented Tiger Lily and uh, Almond from having their combo finish before uh, these two use their skill. So this is a great comp uh, and once you survive that one shot, right, you're able to really just uh, deal a ton of damage to them and finish them off. So this is a great team and also you have sustain as well. So I'm going to do some more battles and uh, we'll see how this um, deck works out against other teams as well. Alright guys, so another deck here or another team comp here. Uh, it is not the Tiger Lily Ginger Brave, but I just want to show you guys that uh, this team comp can work against other, um, you know, teams out there against uh, in like Diamond and uh, Crystal. So they, uh, this player does have maxed out uh, treasures, so um, you know we'll just see how it goes. I do not have maxed out treasure by the way, so Sorbet doing the tanking here, double tank here is uh, great. The uh, only thing that I'll say you should not verse is if you're 100% sure that you're going to be going up against a Hollyberry uh, team. So Hollyberry does um, do you know, insane amount of damage uh, against the Licorice Servants and clears the wave. And on top of that, they uh, are getting pushed, right? So I wouldn't recommend you use this team. If you're not 100% uh, certain like that your cookies can survive um, with great damage resist, then I wouldn't go up against a Hollowberry team here. So there you go, um, doing pretty good right here. Uh, done ton of damage here. Uh, Licorice also doing great damage. Uh, damage being taken by the uh, pure vanilla and parfait even though with the vampire if since I have over 50% uh, damage just on these two healers uh, and the support they don't take much damage and they were able to survive the entire way through and healing done here a uh, ton of healing right here guys so yeah that's a fight against a different team that is not ginger brave and tiger lily because obviously you don't want to only build this just to counter that one shot build so let's see if we can find some other uh, battles that are going to be containing uh, Ginger Brave and Tiger Lily. Alright, here we go guys. This is another uh, one uh, in the arena right now. The uh, Ginger Brave and Tiger Lily comp here with Seafairy Sorbet. This has been uh, very, very powerful in the uh, arena last season as well. So uh, definitely a great example that you can actually uh, see that I'm <laughs> able to do it. That's crazy right here. Tiger Lily was uh, the one to die first, popping the feather and uh, being summoned all the way out here so wow but still um, Licorice having that servant right and separating the Ginger Brave and Tiger Lily uh, definitely definitely helps you defeat something like this this person did have about 700,000 um, power so uh, very very high so Ginger Brave maxed out, Sorbet maxed out, Seafair maxed out um, they're all maxed out pretty much here guys uh, and Seafair are doing ton of damage and another perk that this team has is the defense buff from Licorice and the 10% defense buff from Parfait as well so you are having all of that on top of the 40% uh, debuff resist from Parfait so it's uh, super super good right here guys there's uh, damage received by all of them obviously they don't have we don't have a main tank and there's a bunch of AoE damage so they did take damage uh, pretty evenly out here and a healing done, um, you know, the two healers right here, uh, allowing my team to survive. So this is a great team, guys. Let's see if we can find another one. Here you go, guys. I think this is a, this is a great example of not to verse. Um, so I did come into this battle against a Hollyberry, and as you can see, I got destroyed. My Licorice and my Sea Fairy both got popped very, very quickly here uh, by this team. And popped the feather, wasn't even able to do anything, and boom, just destroyed. So I would definitely recommend you not to uh, verse someone like this, especially uh, someone who's like uh, stacked here. I'm sure they're topping it are great as well. Um, just damage uh, received. I just got popped instantly. This is a yeah. <laughs> this is a this is definitely a team that you should not verse with this one, in in my opinion, right here. So let's try to find other ones. Alright guys, so here we go. This is another comp right here. You can see the Tiger Lily Crepe comp right here. So I wanted to show you guys, um, there are these kind of uh, teams out there in the arena as well. So uh, I wanted to show you guys how this team does against a team like this with a uh, Tiger Lily taking the place in the back. Oh, never mind, it crashed. Alright guys, so here we go, another um, battle. Uh, it did crash earlier, so I'm doing it again. Uh, hopefully the um, 
the RNG <laughs> doesn't change, but uh, you can see the Tiger Lily is taking the place of uh, Strawberry or with Strawberry Creep here uh, instead of having a Parfait. So uh, this person does uh, have the Tiger Lily in order to have the extra stun, but uh, obviously having the Licorice is going to prevent a lot of that. But um, here, my Licorice got popped. Last time it did not, so hopefully uh, that doesn't change uh, too much of the outcome of this battle. But uh, here we go, Sea Fairy was able to be uh, killed here, and along with the creep. So I have my entire team survive. Yeah, all right. So there you go. This is a uh, team that I was able to beat. Um, it's a very um, interesting uh, comp right here. So we have a max out creep, max out sorbet. 3 star Sea Fairy, 3 star Pure Vanilla, and a maxed out um, the Tiger Lily. And I was able to um, successfully attack uh, this team here. So damage received, uh, like I said, always going to be kind of all around evenly. And healing is going to be a ton from these two healers here. And damage uh, mainly focusing from uh, Sorbet and uh, Sea Fairy. Alright, so yeah, this is a pretty decent team here, guys. Pretty decent team. Alright, another interesting team here. Um, this one does involve Tiger Lily and Ginger Brave, but we also do have a Strawberry Crepe, so we're not having the uh, Sorbet. But uh, this is a, another team uh, that you can possibly see. So I just wanted to show you guys how um, how Licorice really makes uh, Tiger Lily just not uh, be as good as uh, she should be uh, if uh, Licorice was not there. So. You know, just kind of preventing uh, Tiger Lily from doing her uh, job at stunning uh, and kind of sweeping or uh, slashing at my team, right, with the Tiger. So, because the uh, minions are there. So, um, yeah, it's, it's a good uh, run right there as well against another Diamond player. So, maxed out uh, uh, Ginger Brave, Crepe, and uh, four star Tiger Lily, but still. Uh, definitely a great team here. And I'll show you guys some of the defenses that, uh, that happened here. Um, in the uh, arena here you go guys so if you guys look at some of the defense that happened you can see right here I was able to successfully de uh, defend against the one shot comp here um, it does do uh, horribly against the uh, Hollyberry team and the speed comp really uh, because I'm not able to defeat them once uh, in one shot so I'm going to lose in uh, that but uh, just keep in mind that you're still able to beat a lot of these uh, Tiger Lily comp here Ginger Brave and another one right here and yeah so um, I've been using this uh, team for about less than a uh, less than a day now so here you go another one right here so yeah this one uh, was before I used this one so I did try doing a revenge battle uh, against a using my one shot build but it didn't work <laughs> so yeah so here you go um, this one's uh, another one that I, I did but this one's not with this deck but another one but here you go guys uh, that's going to be the uh, team comp preferably perfect is going to be the best uh, but if you do not have it you can use Minchoko uh, in there but yeah I mean I, I would definitely recommend this uh, team because right now obviously Seafair is meta right uh, Licorice is always great for PvE and guild boss battle Pure Vanilla is always going to be needed, and Sorbet is in S rank or uh, SS rank in the arena as well. And these treasures are going to be a must when it comes to using this team. So yeah, that's going to be the uh, team that I want to share with you guys today, and uh, in a way for you to counter the Ginger Bray Tiger Lily comps that are out there in the arena. Anyways, guys, if you guys found this video helpful, please hit that subscribe button and the like button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys don't miss out on any future Kikiro and Kingdom videos that I upload on YouTube. Anyways guys, thanks for watching once again, and I'll see you guys next time.